All right, Guardians. Well, this is the last one I'm going to do because for some reason, every time I loaded into the tower, it didn't want to let me do this mission, but we are finally down to Spark. So I'm going to upload these in order, but as I played through them, it was in different orders. Chosen, by the way, pain in the butt. Gaul is noticeably more difficult and it's a bit touchier at this uh, light level. So yeah, that one was not easy. There were a couple deaths and it was slow. So when you get to that one, sorry in advance, patience is, patience is a virtue to get through that video. But... For this one, I hear it's a lot of fun. The Servitor gets a little crazy, so let's jump into this one and see what we've got. I'm kind of curious how many Servitors and how that last little bit goes. So, Solo, Spark, Redux, here we go. Alright, Guardians, so when you begin, look for the Tracer Shanks down on the bottom. Focus on those first, because those are going to snipe you from far away. You can take out both of the Tracers before you actually get up to uh, the regular Shanks. That'll help, but just watch the big tanks targeting just to be sure you're not getting tracked too bad by those shots. The regular shanks hurt too, so don't skimp on those. But make sure you watch out for Big Boy in the back. So I know it's going to log on. Definitely make sure you're strafing and moving. If you can get a little line of sight on the tank, that actually might help as well. If you get a couple triple shots on these, that'll probably work. Trying to actually weaken the legs with Whisper, so when I finally tag one, I'm going to make my ammo as efficient as possible. But as it's about to shoot, definitely make sure you're in hiding. There we go. Got a little verticality, see if I can get this back leg. Hard to see sometimes. Alright, let's see if we can tag one of these front ones. He's probably going to drop. Yep. So, head on up, see if we can get some damage on the tank. Definitely go for the crit spot right here if you guys haven't done the public event with the tank yet. I'd be surprised you know how tanks work, but as you're by yourself, definitely got to be a little bit on the cautious side. Throw a grenade down, make some use of that. Just watch the blue shots, just make sure you keep moving, that's the biggest thing. Now actually, oh my grenade actually got him. So we're going to see what I can do with my sniper here. It's amazing how much damage I'm doing and the health is actually not going down that much. So I'm going to hit this other front leg here. It's not going to take much. I'll probably hit this leg and kill it. Done. Alright, so got some heavy ammo down here. Nope, no heavy ammo, just in gram. But grab your uh, orbs. They don't really matter too much. For me, the super that I seem to find most beneficial so far has been the uh, fire one. You can go for the explosive. Um, hammers, which is typically what I've been doing. If you want to go for survival and you want to use your uh, hammer that way, you can definitely go for the Soul Invictus, restore your health on solar ability kills. If you're having any issues, that might actually be a, be a good one to go with as well because your grenades, your melees, and your super will heal you. So if you get in a pinch, you can pop one of those and use it. So under here, get our little slide going. And you're greeted pretty much right away with some more enemies. So be ready. Watch out for the dregs with shotguns. They're going to hurt. You can peek over, get a little bit of cover here. Just use these cars, try not to get overrun too much. And some of them may go running off, but some of them are going to come up and greet you nice and close. And again, as you're getting those orbs, depending on if you have matching damage types, Arc is probably going to be beneficial for a Fallen mission, mostly just because if you have a Captain and it's not taken, you're going to be dealing with some Arc shields, so... Some type of arc is probably going to serve you well. I'm going to have to see what the servitors actually have as shields on top of that. Yeah, watch out for their grenades. That's the first grenade I think a drag has ever missed. Normally they're pretty much spot on with those things. Got my super up. I'm going to use that on these guys here just to make sure I kind of survive. And it's a big group, so I may as well finish it a little quicker. See if there's anything I missed. Try and push up, take out a shotgun guy. And if there's a big captain... Trying to at least start him off. So when I said arc shields, I wasn't lying. Watch his shotgun shots. If you can get him to stand still for a second, hit him with uh, Whisper. Crits do wonders on that. See if we can keep him going. He doesn't have too much many places to hide, which is good, because captains are notorious for that. Got a little more heavy ammo, so definitely be somewhat liberal in picking it up, but you also seem like you've got some time to use it as well. It's kind of fun to play these missions again. I enjoyed now three characters through. Am I going to enjoy them as much? Probably not. Um, but I do kind of enjoy just the solo challenges. That's why I didn't actually run these with anybody. I want to do them on my own. 
And they're just going to spawn in some explosive shanks. So when you get down here, try and be careful. Maybe if you spawn them in, hop back kind of like I did. Play it safe. Just be careful. That may not be the only time they do that. If you can get them to chain up, that tends to be pretty viable. Keep on creeping up. There's probably going to be a third run of them somewhere. Yep. Well, that's a bigger one. Any orange exploding, orange bar exploding shake? I say orange, some people say yellow. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a shade of yellow or if you think it's orange. Like the big named bosses usually at the end of strikes, I think they have like a canary yellow to me. Very yellow health bar. But to me, those almost match more of my abilities down on the bottom left, more of an orange health bar. So I could be the crazy one, but I don't think I'm colorblind, but I am curious your thoughts. There should be some stealth guys around here where they're going to spawn in as soon as I drop and I'm going to have no choice. So Marauders will be around. Be aware, they are stealthy, so look for their little camo stealth. Just be careful, their melees are going to hurt, so try and stay elevated. You can use your grenade if you got a void shield. Grenade's probably going to work to melt those guys a little better. See if you can pull them through the grenade. Got one more over here. Oh, there's more. A couple stragglers. Oh, they keep coming. Very nice of you. One at a time, and I can probably handle you. Apparently I also can't aim, so that's a whole different problem. Mostly mine, not yours. Alright. Oh, we're not done. Well, that worked a little better than expected. Grab my orb, push on up. Basically the biggest thing on some of these missions, be careful how quickly you push up into areas. If you're a bit more cautious, you might not get overrun from the back. Or if enemies spawn, you know, try and see if you've got some places to retreat. And if you need to retreat, don't feel bad about it. Believe me, when I was going through a couple of these missions, I've gone back pretty far just to have a safe point to fight. Because once the enemies spawn and you get away from them, it gives you a little more flexibility in how you handle it. Just like here. Got quite a few shanks. And the shanks, when they start firing quickly, can get to be a bit treacherous. Now, I don't know what honestly exploded all those guys, but I will take it. My guess is there might have been a barrel or something I shot, so look for that. It happened kind of quick. I have to honestly go back and check the replay. Can I get an instant replay, please? I'll do that later. All right, and then if you do want a cool view, this is kind of an awesome one. So quick cut real quick. I'm going to get a couple wallpaper shots. Be right back. Alright, don't mind me, just grabbing a couple background images for a second. We've got some heavy ammo below you, don't forget about that if you do need it. And again, caution is the biggest piece. When we get to the end, you might be pinched in a little bit, we'll have to see how much flexibility we've got. But you're also going to have these heavy shanks, so any big shot type of damage you've got is going to serve you well. So three shots with that one will work. Let's see if I can turn this guy around. He's not looking at me, so that makes it difficult. Where'd the other guy go? I believe he ran off, so I don't get to take advantage of Whisper on all of those. Quick reload. Heavy ammo seems a bit more abundant in this mission than some others, for sure. I was on the struggle bus on a couple of these. Just make sure you're flipping, flipping guns so you can take it, you know, not be too hamstrung by Juggler. Shank is going to hide, apparently. I don't see too many. I want to just take him out and not worry about him. It's fine. I got heavy, so. I'm okay with that. See if any more enemies come up. Got some grenades to fight them off. Got another couple of shanks out here. See if you can turn them around to face me. Here we go. Oh, not alone. Marauder and a grenade. It's a good way to get, uh, get some work done on you. Can grab the ammo because I think I'm low enough to take advantage. I might get one more shot out of this. Those grenades, man, they are... They can be lethal. What I want to find is honestly the uh, other heavy shank back there before I reload that heavy because I can get a decent shot. And again, notice as I push up, then it spawns more enemies. So literally your proximity down the level map as you proceed will spawn enemies. So 
Take it slow, see what spawns. If anything spawns to your left, watch your radar. And just be cautious and always pull back if you need to. Switch over, get some scout rifle working. These guys are moving a bunch in this mission. They're flanking back and forth quite a bit. Just quick little peek outs. Basically all I'm getting on most of this. Check up here a little bit. Again, trying not to push too far. There's big guy. And again, even at that point right there, I can pull back. Now I feel I can grab my ammo and take advantage because I get six from it. So yeah, I was trying not to waste too much. Might pull a couple enemies. Be careful. Be great if I could aim. Or stand in fire. That's a perfect way to get yourself killed. Campfires. Still lethal. From now until infinity. They're just hovering back along those walls over there. I did get the heavy shank on that side. There was like six heavy shanks total probably. Quite a few of them, I'll be honest. More than I thought. Got some orbs. You'll have a couple hiding back here. Nice little melee dash. See who's up here. I think the big shanks are gone, so nothing major. Once again, don't walk through fire. That's just me not being smart. 19 rounds. I'm going to grab the heavy, even if it is for one bullet, because I'm probably not going to get to come back to it. So the servitor splits. At the end of this mission, where you typically would get your light and you'd fight um, like a captain and kind of have all the infinite super spawns, you're not going to get the super spawns. So the servitor splits multiple times. The thing about that, oh, these guys are going to be fun, so make sure you're strafing so you don't get tagged by their shots. If you knock them off their ledge, they will come back. Sometimes they just take a little while. If you can duck, you might get a little headshot there. Bam. So those guys are down. Keep working up the hill. Make sure I got that ready. Apparently I'm off on aiming, a little tired and out of it, apparently. Got a little heavy drop here, which is nice. Got a few more enemies coming. Or just leaping down. I'll take that. So far managing them. I love how they leap up and be like, here I am! Don't shoot me! Even though I'm giving you a pretty easy target. Anybody else? Going pretty smooth. The last part is the worry. So the servitor splits, and then the little ones split after that. So I think you're almost going to want to break the big servitor, work the little ones down with either grenades or a shield or that one, and when they start going really small and start firing a lot, I think that's when I'm going to try and use the super. So going to try and save the super for the final split up just because I'll have probably my best options there. I think we're getting close, actually. Forget how far around the corner this thing is. Oh, we're not far. All right, so this should basically be the end of it, but we just have servitor fun. Now, I don't know how far back I'm going to get to retreat. I don't know if it's going to lock me in this corner. That's going to be kind of the determining factor as I go through this. So, dregs first. Just avoid the servitor for a minute. Try and take out all the other adds before you even start messing with that servitor. Now, if I can back down the hill, that's probably going to be my optimal. Nope, see, I knew this was going to happen. So you might actually have to rotate around, try and cycle the cover. So use these corners where needed. Gonna see how much work I can actually do with this thing. Not as much as I hoped there. Now I don't know if damage is actually gonna spawn more enemies or it's mostly just about him splitting. No adds yet. I kinda wanna see if I'm gonna get any extra. Are you gonna, oh, okay. So now he splits. Now I want these guys, but I do have more adds now. So be careful. Try and watch your cover. Look for the dregs and stuff that came in. So now we got that stuff over there. Let's see, you're going to have a few. Use your cover these corners where you can. But also staying mobile is going to help you quite a bit. These guys are going to have a chunk of health. And when they split, that's why I want to save my super. Because the split is going to be a tough part. Oh, but they're going to start shielding, which is going to make it really interesting. Mobility, big key here. Watch for those shots. Just try and get some damage in where you can. If you need to put yourself up a little wall just to slow some stuff down, that is not a terrible idea. Stuff comes through, might be able to tag a few before they really start splitting too much. And again, cycle around however you can. Just try and stay moving and mobile. Not too stationary is going to be a big key. 
you can kind of get them split up like this. One enemy and, you know, one drag, not too bad. But if you start getting overrun, just be ready to move. I'd love to finish this one off. So that one's split, which is going to start to get really interesting. That is a crazy pile in the middle. I may need to just go super ham in the center. I'd like to get one more of them split before I do that, though. Sometimes elevations like this, just little lips of ledges will let you hit something, but they won't be able to hit you. Not always perfect, but sometimes it is. All right, so that one's split. Got a couple more. I'd like to get one more grenade out there using. Okay, and throw that one. See what that one's going to do. Get a shield up, try and have that as some cover as these guys try and push through. Let them be blinded and pick them off. Okay. Doing all right so far. Let's see how many of these guys I can pick off with Whisper. So quite a few guys here. All right, I'm going to go super, see what I can do. How many are out there? Try and find the collections as much as you can. Not my best throws. Try and stay moving. This is where it gets insane, because you go from like 1 to 16 to so many, it's kind of crazy. There's one down. They're pretty low on health. They don't have a ton. Whew, hurting, hurting. Need a wall. Give me a second here. Anything does break through. Even though apparently they can shield through it, so that's cute. Yeah, these back trees are apparently going to be your friend in this back corner ledge, depending on what's up and down. Use this ledge over here. This is definitely seemingly helping quite a bit. The little guys don't have a ton of health, but when you got like 16 things shooting at you, it gets to be interesting. So that one broke and split. Two stationary. Time to move. Oh, don't kill me now. Try and slide, move, whatever you gotta do. Hit the corners, and again, flank back and forth. This does seem to be working pretty reasonably. Another grenade out there in the middle, maybe. Now, if they start shielding each other, that's gonna get, it's gonna get really old. Need to reload, see if I can get some heavy shots going here. There we go, couple of reloads there. And again, if you need to pop a shield somewhere, use it. You need a healing rift around a corner, that's actually probably a good way to fight as a warlock down here. If you got Wormhusk Crown, use your dodges where you can for your hunter for survivability. And again, Whisper if you got it, Big Sniper, Darcy's probably going to be a great one here. Don't stand still as I'm learning, because they will definitely jump on you. Don't get this close and lose it. Got a pretty good progress so far, but that is a ton of servitors. It's the shielding, I think that's the most annoying part. Let me see if I can get some work done with this thing. So yeah, 4,000 on a shot will definitely do some damage to those. Darcy's probably also a really good option if you don't have Whisper yet. It's got a lot of ammo. You've got a lot of heavy you can pick up. may not be the easiest thing to get to, but you definitely can use it that way. Yeah, these two sides seem to work pretty well. We're almost there. Yeah, those Marauders are probably going to be your toughest just because that melee sword attack hurts quite a bit. Almost there. Pull out the scout rifle again. Scout rifle. There we go. And that is it. It's actually not as bad as I figured. Just mobility being a big key there. Um, use those trees as much as you can. Those two sides. And that little ledge on the far entrance is going to help as well. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Just a quick run through on that mission. Um, Spark Redux with the blue armor difficulty. It's a little easier on green. It's a little tougher on here. But I'm going to head back to the tower, and we're going to talk about the legendary armor in a different video. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, thought it helpful, leave a like below, leave a comment if you got questions. You guys know where to find me. Twitter, Ebontis, twitch.tv slash Ebontis, and right here on YouTube. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that alert bell next to it. You guys will get notifications when new videos come out. You can turn the notifications off, but it also keeps me in your feed, um, as opposed to just me being lost in the YouTube mix. So, thank you guys for the support. And I'm going to go upgrade my armor now, so that will be in a separate video. I will link that one at the end of the fifth playthrough. So all these were done in a weird order, but all of them are finally done now. So I'm going to go get my armor upgraded and see where I stand from there. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you soon. Have a good one.